haven't posted in a while and that posting a vlog is kind of weird to be my first video back but it's a necessary vlog to post you guys don't know me my name is alex i'm a student at bryant university um rising junior i do have to give this little disclaimer before i go into the video just because some people might not know what the trip's about and i wasn't the best vlogger so there wasn't a lot of explanation so if you guys do want to just get into the content you don't give a shit just i'll put a timestamp and you could just skip on into the vlog this vlog is of my journey to Argentina and Uruguay that I took this past January through Bryant University. Bryant has a program called Sophomore International Experience, S-I-E, Sophomore International Experience. It's basically a two-week abroad experience that counts as a three-credit course, and the semester leading up to the trip abroad, you meet for class. So I didn't do the best job at vlogging just because, I don't know, I was just trying to enjoy everything. You will see throughout the video though, there are certain places where I vlogged more on my own so I won't be interjecting and kind of explaining what happened, but I will be voicing over the places that I didn't really vlog just to kind of explain what happened. This was my experience, it was super amazing. I do want to thank my parents for allowing me to go on this trip my professors for making it super educational and beneficial and fun and then my friends because i mean you guys made the trip so thank you i do want to explain where i've been with a little life update video so that's going to be next i just really wanted to post this one because i was super excited about it and i feel like every time i make a return to youtube i have a different hair color so i just feel like i have some explaining to do comment down below and let me know if you want me to do a reflection slash q a on this trip because i'm not going to be doing a lot of reflecting just because this is just the content. I mean, I was there for two weeks. I'm trying to make this video not that long and make it more engaging and enjoyable, but like, I was there for two weeks. I have a lot of shit to show you. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the vlog. All right, so we're in the airport. Liv, tell us what happened what to you. Happened? Um, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Liv's mom is traveling. So today we got a turkey and Swiss sub. <laughs> Liv had some complications, but we're good now. And we're going to Miami. Miami. And then we're going to Argentina. Miami Heat. <laughs> Updates to follow. Any, any, anything, anything to say for the safe flight? No. <laughs> Uh, how was your flight? The last flight. Your flight is gonna be approximately nine your flight? hours. Dinner. Are you excited for this flight? Yeah. Courtney, how was your flight? Flight was good. Uh, they gave us dog biscuits as a snack. <laughs> Scooby snacks. Um, yeah, it was good though. I'm in the exile in the back, so I'm literally. <laughs> I'm away from everybody this flight. 10 hours, let's go. Okay, so we made it to Buenos Aires and I suck and I've not been vlogging. I just didn't feel good when I got off the plane, so I didn't really want to like record. And then yesterday was the day that we landed. We had a little orientation meeting and then we got some lunch, kind of walked around the area and then we took an, a long nap because we were all super jet lagged. Not even jet lagged, we just all just didn't sleep on the plane really coming here. After our nap, we went out to Sky Bar. We just got drinks, got dinner, kind of walked around a little bit, and then we came back. So what we did today is we had two speakers, and they're pretty good. Uh, it was long, but it was good. And then we have a city game that we've been doing, so I'll try to insert pictures and videos from that. I'm gonna go take a shower and get ready for dinner, and I will see you guys after. <laughs> Live. How's your steak? Chicken? What do we think of the chicken? It has a bone. Is it good though? It's great. It's great. Courtney. What do I want? Oh my god. So after a few business visits, we went to Delta Tigre and we kayaked. This was the first time I ever kayaked, so I was a little bit nervous, but it was super fun. But I do have to say, we kayaked for an hour and a half, which is just absurd. I've, n I've never kayaked before, but even people that had were like, I'm tired as hell. 
but it was really fun. It wore us out and it was beautiful. Do you want to spend Let's take it a video. Okay. So, tulips are in. <laughs> so we're painting what flowers? Good job, Luke. Doing a white job painting a white surface. So this part of the trip was probably one of the most meaningful. We went to Ogar al Alba, which is an orphanage in Argentina. And the semester leading up to this trip, we raised over $3,000 for this orphanage. Basically, we spent the first half of the day doing a project with our group. As you can see, my group had the best project. We got to paint a mural. Overall, it was such a great experience to connect with the kids and play with them. Although none of us could really talk to them through playing with them, we all connected with them. So it was a super fun experience and probably one of my favorite days on the trip. So today we took a ferry over to Uruguay and we headed to Montevideo first. We had business visits at the World Trade Center, so that was pretty cool and that's the building that we were on top of. And then we basically just finished the night by exploring Montevideo on our own and going to get food and going out with our friends. So the next day Montevideo, this is my favorite day on the entire trip because I love Montevideo. It's my favorite city I've been to on this trip. I love it. Uruguay is amazing. I compare it to Boston and Buenos Aires. I compare it to New York just for size and just like overall vibes and feelings. What's your list? Rate the wines. You don't remember the wines. <laughs> Touching me! Touching you! Okay, so.
so I don't have a lot of footage from Punta del Este because it was two days basically at a beach resort it was amazing so fun so the first day we got there we had a beach day then we all just ate dinner and went out that night the hotel had a casino and resort but the next day all I did was stay in my room because everyone else went to a culinary school and had traditional Uruguayan food which I just knew wouldn't sit well with me it was a lot of mystery meats and I was I had food poisoning so I was just gonna stay back at the hotel which I did and I just read my book on my balcony when I felt better so yeah then I got dinner later that night and it was good so then we drove back to Montevideo and we went to Codigo del Sur which was one of the businesses and that's what these clips are from. I took these clips because it was beautiful there. They had it in a house, their business. There was a pool, there were so many cool things, gadgets, and it just kind of showed how they had such a relaxed lifestyle within their workplace. And then we spent the day in Colonia del Sacramento which is a more historic and um, older part of Uruguay and it was super cute. We didn't do a lot there. We just kind of walked around, shopped and ate. But after that, we took the ferry back to Argentina. So today we went to um, the stadium of the River Plate soccer team, which is one of the Argentina soccer teams. And it was super cool. The tour guide was so passionate about the team. We got to see the museum. And then after this, we just went around the city and finished our city game. So we went to La Boca and a bunch of different areas. Then we had a visit at Simase Plant and I didn't get a lot of footage. I didn't get any footage of this actually. I thought I did, but I didn't. Basically, it was a trash plant. We were supposed to go to Pepsi. I blogged this day, that's why I know so much about this. It didn't smell, it wasn't like a garbage plant that stunk. It was actually beautiful. There was a lot of land and they explained their process for d disposing of things. There were so many animals. It was honestly pretty beautiful. It actually wasn't that bad. On our last day, we ventured to a ranch and it was beautiful. We experienced the traditional gauchos and they had us ride horses. Um, me and Liv decided not to ride horses just because, well, I have a fear of heights and I've never gotten on a horse before and I just wasn't about to hop on a horse when I'm afraid of heights and don't know how to ride a horse. So I just rode on the wagon with Liv. Still super beautiful. We had a nice traditional asado meal we had a lot of meat while we were down there super super good um and then we watched a horse show and it was beautiful super fun and then we kind of spent the rest of the evening shopping in buenos aires kind of enjoying our last day and we went to this bookstore called the recoleta which used to be a theater as you can tell so i bought some books and i'm gonna work on reading them they are in spanish i do speak spanish so I'm gonna work on reading them and improving my Spanish skills. <laughs> 